Okay, hello. Um, Christy here, and thank you for joining me. Um, after the last three videos, which were just like, I was so bored in the end because the jewellery was just really subpar for um, what I'm used to and uh, for what I like to show as well. So um, I thought I'd make up for that with this little box of beautifulness. Now, and inside is all sorts of yumminess in there. This box I, I bought when I was in Nepal. Um, I went trekking to the Himalayas um, and the aim with my husband and the aim was to get to the Himalayan, um, the Everest base camp, which uh, I didn't achieve because I got really sick. So um, anyway, while I was in the Himalayas, I wanted desperately to buy a Himalayan Nepalese um, jewelry box, but I couldn't find anything. This is what I wanted, but I couldn't find it in a like jewelry box context. So it's actually an old tea box. Um, so this is where I keep all my beautiful vintage pieces that um, I have been collecting that I'm not ready to sell yet, but um these are for sale these will get sold uh, at some point i'm it, it's not a i'm not emotionally attached to them and um so yes yeah, so let's just dive in hopefully this makes up for you know all the uh you know yuckiness from the last couple of videos it's not yucky but it was just not what i wanted okay i'm gonna leave it sort of there for you everything's in sort of bags because see look at the box isn't that beautiful why wouldn't this box be a jewellery box? I mean, look at it. Okay, so we'll pop it there. And I don't know a lot of... All these are in little individual bags to protect them and protect their stones. Um, some things I know things about, some I don't. And some I haven't looked at for a really long time. So we can um, do some investigating together. This Isn't this beautiful? Look at this beauty. I don't know much about um, vintage stuff. I'm still learning. So this is unsigned and it is old. If you see the construction on the back, it's all individual. So let's come in a little bit. And But I do believe that the clasp is not um, a really vintage old clasp. So I'm not sure if that was soldered on or um, or it's original, but look at it sparkle. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it so much. So yeah. And some of them you're probably thinking, Christy, why are you hanging on to that? Just sell it, it's not even vintage, but some of them are just like, they're so pretty, you know? And I'm just not ready to part with them yet. So let's check out this one. This beautiful bracelet. can't lay it out flat because it's got its, it's, you know, it's got its clasp there. So it's a sliding clasp, but look at the detail and the beautiful AB beads. So I know that this is probably maybe around the fifties because I know that's when AB beads, uh, AB crystals began. So these are peacock colored AB crystals and look at the filigree there. Isn't that gorgeous? so beautiful and I haven't found a name on this one either although it was a very long time ago that I last looked but I don't believe there's a name on this maybe it's Czechoslovakian not sure I like to keep the bags you know keep them with their bags because all the information I knew I do have on them is in the bag oh my goodness look at this one this is one of my to die for favorite pieces and I was wearing this and I thought I had it done up and what I had done was not actually fasten the hold on let me just I had not actually fastened the spring ring clasp into the you know the end of the necklace and so it was really just sort of 
I can't remember how it was done, but it felt like I was wearing it. And then all of a sudden, one day it fell off and landed on the tiles and it smashed about six of the amber pieces. So it's amber all um, set in sterling silver. And it's just so beautiful. I just love it so much. Look at it, I'll just go like this. And maybe I can zoom in a bit more. Can you see it? Oh my goodness. And I haven't brought my bust down with me this time. So I can't show you on the bust, but anyway, it's just the most elegant and stunning necklace. And I am actually afraid to wear it now because I feel like one of them is gonna fall out. I, I took it to the jeweler and he repaired them, but I'm so worried. I mean, imagine if I lost one, how would I ever replace it? So yeah, that is just one of my most Try and lay it out for you. Beautiful amber pieces. I don't know if I'll ever sell this personally because I love it so much, but also because, you know, if it, if one fell out, I mean, I'd have to make it buy beware, but yeah, it's certainly not something I'm looking to sell right now. I just have to be brave enough to wear it again. So yeah, isn't that gorgeous? This is a vintage piece set. I might just zoom out for you, maybe to there. This is a vintage Coro piece. Oh, there we go. And um, it, this is made of lucite. So we have a, a necklace. I'll show you all up close. We have the bracelet and we have the earrings so let's start with the earrings so look at this this is vintage coro i'm not sure it'd probably be really easy to find out um the the sort of era the year this was made but look at it it's like it's never been worn it's absolutely gorgeous and it's all signed coro i'm not sure if you can see that focus on the background and not the foreground anyway okay let's start there yeah so I've got these clip-on earrings gorgeous and then we've got the bracelet so they look like little flowers but then it looks like there's little, you know, little gold leaf bits in there. This is the back. See what I mean about quality? And, you know, things that are made back in the day, this is, this is what you'd expect. This is quality. They don't cut corners. They don't um, make it all messy like in the background. It's just beautiful. Fold over clasp. So it looks a bit like Lucite. Um, so I'm just learning a little bit about lucite at the moment and lucite is um, a form of plastic that was started to be made um, as Bakelite became, uh, they stopped making Bakelite. So lucite was uh, started in the 1930s um, and became the, the popular jewellery item, you know, um, material by the 1950s. So this has, this is the necklace, and this has a clasp, a shepherd's hook clasp. And a little ball on the end. So yeah, how nice is that? It's not something I'd ever wear, but it's just something, yeah, I want to keep for now because it's the whole set, so it's pretty special. That's Koro. Just keep that with its bag. Okay, now what? Okay, so I'm not sure if this is really vintage, but it just looks old fashioned to me. So, um, okay. And the stone is just so beautiful and sparkly. So yeah, look at that. I just love jewelry so much. It's, see the back is 
really old and detailed with the filigree. So I feel like it is old, but I just don't know much about it. But jewellery is just so amazing, isn't it? There's just, it's, you know, it, it's so easy to just get something completely different, you know, one day and then something completely different the next day. It's just, I love it for that, that it's just so original. This is another little bag. I bought these at a market. I think I paid too much for them at the time, but I just was beginning my sort of jewellery um, endeavours. So it's definitely vintage. It's, it's not silver. Um, there's your spring ring clasp. So I, I'm not sure what era these are. I think probably maybe 60s. This is the back. It's all, and it's nicely made. It's not, um, it's not like the, you see the, this type of thing with the rhinestones and then those little, the little links, the bridge in between the two bits and it looks really plasticky. This is all, it's a beautiful weight. It's a lovely necklace. And yeah, so it's graduating rhinestones, um, but I think that they're crystals. And so it just goes from graduating from small to large at the bottom. Just turn it over so you can see. Yeah, so I, I do think I paid probably too much for this, but you know, I just saw it and I had to have it. And it's look at it sparkling. I had it sparkled for me, so I was like bedazzled and I bought it. Um, anyway, it's pretty. Yeah. So yeah, that's my. Um, another pretty beauty that I will sell at some point so I don't know if it's silver or if it's like um, like a nickel silver or I'm not sure because it does feel nice and buttery but it's just I have tested it and it is not silver and if you look really closely I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to zoom in the sorry about that the claws around the stones are really jagged. Can you see them? Let's just try. I'm going to go back to out and then zoom in with my hand. It might be easier. See this one up here at the top corner, top left hand corner? You can see the jagged claws on that one fairly well. So yeah, it it's different anyone if you know anything about any of these pieces um, please I invite you to to chat to me about it um, give me any of your information and knowledge because yeah I'm always learning I certainly don't know um, everything okay let's have a look at this little beauty this one um, I got in a jewelry lot and it's just really pointy and pretty look at it nothing's missing the sparkle on it is so beautiful it's it's old I know it's old I just don't know how old it's a C clasp as well so seriously old and the pin um, it comes out from the edge of the brooch which means it's um, so I'm not sure Victorian or Edwardian or is it a date specific where it comes out this far I do have notes um, I don't have them in front of me. But look look at the quality of that for the age of that. That is seriously, I would hazard that this is probably around maybe a hundred years old. And look at it. It's just beautiful. So yeah, who owned that? You know, like who owned that? Did you ever wear it? It's just so beautiful. So here we go, put that one there keeping my little bags with them okay what have I got okay here's another one this is um, Elizabeth Reimer uh, her brand is Arkansas I believe and this is it is marked sorry I just wanted to check something I think it's marked okay. No, it was, it was right before. So it's Arkansas. It's really hard to work out, but it is Arkansas. And 
that says 2013 so it's not you know hugely vintage but it's it's really quite gorgeous and yeah oh this is the one where all the pearls are missing the little tiny baby seed pearls so that's going to be really hard to replace those um, yeah, coming across the seed pearls would be one thing and then putting them in, that would be another thing. See, look, there's one that's sort of, I'm not even going to touch it. But yeah, so anyway, that's Arkansas, which I may um, sell as is. Beautiful though, hey? Gorgeous. Um, what can I show you now? Oh, let's do this one. This one is a little bit of a surprise. This one I bought when I was in my very early, early days. Um, I didn't know anything about Bakelite, but I did know that, you know how when you get that feeling, it's just a feeling? I knew that this was something, and so I bought it. Um, I believe that it's Cherry Amber Bakelite. I have tested it for Bakelite, and it does test as positive. Here is the clasp. It's unsigned. Now this, um, and it's beautiful. It's just, the beads are so beautiful. If I could just, you know, look at the, I don't know if you can see the color. Hang on, let me just turn on my light, which I should have already done. Not that one. This one, hold on. So yeah, they're graduated beads. Um, that's my clasp. And they're just beautiful, Bakelite. And I've had this for, or, you know, maybe a year and a half now. And I just, I know this is worth some money, but I can't bring myself to, to part with it yet. I know Bakelite is sought after. I know it's rare. Um, and uh, I think things like this, the cherry amber is, um, yeah, it's a bit more sought after than say a bright red bangle bracelet, which I also have. So yeah, I'm hanging on to that for a little while. Now I have a, this I believe is sort of from, you know, like, I guess maybe Nepal or somewhere like that just reminds me of something Nepalese with the the coral beads um, this is a vintage perfume bottle which I do collect um, vintage perfume bottles but um, yeah it comes out and there's your little look at it it's like a little it's like a little spoon isn't that just beautiful I love it so much so I think that it's um, it's either silver or it's like 850 silver. I actually haven't tested it, but I could because I've got my testing stuff right here. So let's quickly have a look. So it's testing. It's not red, so that's a good start. And let's just put some... Remember if we want it to be... Um, gold, uh, silver, this has to go blue. It's just disappearing, so it's not 95. Um, it may just be like, um, yeah, sort of a sub, a sub sort of, um, I don't know what you call it, it's sort of metal, I'm not sure. I'll just pop this lid back in. Isn't that gorgeous? The chain's really worn and but I just that's just you know how it is that's the age of it so there you go that's my beautiful ancient perfume bottle can you see my cat down there that's Manny that's my Manny cat who is as soft and gentle and completely loving as you would ever find he's so adorable okay this is another cutie this is really um, old I believe from memory 
Haven't been through these things for ages. Look at the sparkle on there. How beautiful is that? Let's try and get that to be really focused. Oh, isn't that just beautiful? I love it so much. It's just glass. I believe it's bronze. See the casing, how they're all open in the back? That's to allow maximum light to come through the stone. So this sparkle and shimmer. And it has a C-clasp as well. So I definitely know that it's old, but um, yeah, <clears throat> look at it against like the white cloth. I wonder if I could just focus on that a bit. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, sorry. How stunning is that? Oh, I just love these things. You know, did that go to a beautiful, you know, a dance? horse-drawn carriages and ball gowns with feathers in your hats and dance cards on your wrist you know just painting the scene there okay let's put that one back <clears throat> and now here's another beauty this one is stunning a lot of these I did not get as you know bargains these are just pieces that I've bought because I love them so much but yeah, this one is, um, this one I know is Czech, made in the Czechoslovakia. I think it says it on the back from memory. Let me just look. Yeah, see right here. Actually might even be able to zoom in. Just get it to focus. It says uh, Czechoslovakia, something jewellery by Czechoslovakia. Um, I might just see what that first word is. I can't actually read it. I'm just going to have a look while I'm here. I can find my loop. Oh, here it is in the very corner. Okay, let's have a look and see. Just a minute and I'll tell you. It says, um, I M I T, I M I T dot jewelry, um, Czechoslovakia. So it's got the safety clasp, um, and it's got these beautiful Czech glass, uh, bits, and it's just fully encased in filigree on brass. Isn't that gorgeous? I just think it's so beautiful. And if I slip my hand through, look how it would have looked. <sighs> so pretty. So yeah, box clasp. Um, I can't even see if I've got that in. Yeah, go ahead and listen to that snap. That's still got a really good snap. Okay. Um, this is another Arkansas piece. Let's have a look at this one. Okay. Look at the chunkiness of this thing. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely beautiful. So we'll start off with the back. All encased in the filigree. Um, there's the Arkansas name. And the back is really beautifully made. Stunning. And on this side, it is even more stunning because it's got these little tiny scrolls that are encased with enamel. And then you've got your stones. And then you've got, I'll come right in and see if I can show you up really close. And look at the detail, the little flowers and the links. Look at the links. It's just, the craftsmanship is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that is a very special piece that I'm not willing to part with for quite a while. How gorgeous is that? So that's Arkansas. 
Oh, these were um, I found in a, a jewelry lot. They are, what have I got written on here? Yeah, I thought I wrote them down. Um, a couple of opals. So but I think this is a doublet. Look at that blue, isn't that gorgeous? So I don't know where these opals come from. This one though, I found, I got in a jewelry lot here in Queensland. So I think maybe this might be Lightning Ridge, which is an opal um, uh, mine here in Queensland. But isn't that just stunning? The blues on there are beautiful. And then this one was in a jewelry lot. And, but I, I actually questioned this one a tiny bit. I don't know if I'm confident that this is an opal. Can you see the inside of it? It's a little bit um, foil-like. So that one, oh. I, yeah, that one I've questioned slightly. Let me know what you think, if you think I'm right. That's the back. But this one is um, definitely an opal. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, what have I got now? Let's take this little beauty out. This is something I got from my travels from a thrift shop. And this is, I believe, a Victorian or maybe older ring. It's uh, nine karat gold and these are rubies. Um, they have tested on the Presidium for uh, ruby and they also glow your pants off. So this little guy, I'm just going to quickly look on the back just for two seconds to see. I know I tested it with, uh, I did an acid test on it, but um, yeah, I can't see any actual names on here. Yeah. So, how beautiful is that? Oh, I don't even want to force it on that finger. My hands are, it's hot here, so they're, they're a bit swollen, so I really don't want to force. Let's just pop it on that one, and I'll just show you. And I think it probably should go, like, that way. Now... I'm not sure if you all know, but um, I think, I believe these ones, uh, well, depending on the age of the ring, these will either be lab created or mined, earth mined. Um, I find that a lot of people um, are so anti lab created gemstones. Um, but the thing is, people don't understand, like rubies, for example, they began lab creating rubies in the late 1800s. So the chances are that you have a genuine mined opal, um, not mined opal, mined ruby, are so rare and people don't understand that. Um, it's, it's the strangest thing. And you know, the same with um, lab created diamonds and lab created sapphires. It's, it's, um, it's like taboo, but the general population, well, the questions I get asked most people think that they're getting a mined ruby. You know, these things, you just don't get them. I mean, how many mines have closed down? And also, how many mines are there? There, there aren't very many. I know there's Burmese rubies, um, but the amount of rubies that are produced from these mines certainly do not um, equal the equivalent of the ruby jewelry that's out there. And people just bury their heads in the sand and think that, you know, if it's not a mined ruby, I don't want it. But the chances are, if they own any rubies, they're probably uh, lab created anyway, because they were clever enough to think about how to do that way back in the 1800s. I mean, it just, it boggles my mind. Anyway, that's enough of a rant. That's my beautiful um, Victorian, I believe, ruby ring. So pretty. Let's put that back in its little bag. Do you want to know how much I paid for that? One dollar. I know. So yeah, I'll just hold on to that for a bit longer. I love it. Okay, then I've got this beautiful, uh, actually I'll save those. I have to be quick now, I'm scribbling on a bit and I'm already at 30 and I know I want to 
stop at 30. Okay, so this one is um, old, older, has a beautiful AB Rivoli um, crystal and it's brushed gold, gold matte. See how it's kind of got a really nice, interesting sort of, it looks like linen. So that's just a really pretty one. I like it. Um, and this is, this complements the bracelet that I showed you before. I think I overpaid for this one as well, but I don't mind because it was beautiful. Um, again, this is made in the Czech Republic. And look at it, oh my goodness. Isn't that just stunning? Look at the beauty. So you can see how they really go together. And even though they're slightly different in their makeup, they could easily be worn and complement each other nicely. So that is, yeah, I love the amber honey hues of the, the rhinestones. And they're all there. The claws are in beautiful condition. It's just a really gorgeous piece. Lovely. Um, this one here is a, it's come out a little bit. This one here was a bit of a find. This one um, is made by Gross. That is, he was a designer for Christian Dior. This is him under his name. Um, there's his stamp up the top there. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see. And I was at a thrift shop and I saw this and I picked it up because it's got a lovely weight to it and I turned it over and I didn't have my glasses I couldn't see what that said but I just had this feeling that this was a piece don't put it back and I think what did I pay for this I think I paid oh I didn't even write it down but it was uh, Hang on, it might be on that side. Oh, five dollars. I paid five dollars for it, um, and I have some information actually on it. Um, uh, maybe made in the 1930s. Um, Gross worked for Dior. Um, it's Gross and Henkel of Forsheim, Forsheim, and at the moment they currently sell for about mm, two to three hundred dollars on eBay. So that's a piece I'm just going to hang on to for a while most definitely but yeah how gorgeous is that it's called um i don't know something about bows his ribbon bow or something but yeah that's a beautiful piece um what else have i got i want to show you what's in this look i got this okay i have to zoom out so this beautiful um love heart shaped box was in a thrift store cabinet they were asking $25 and I paid it because it's just so beautiful so I'll just put this it's a necklace it's coral and I could tell that this was something you know special put that over there um, it's a neck you see all the coral beads as soon as I looked at it I just thought I don't care how much that is I know that it's going to be worth more than what they're asking so I'm going to just lay it down for you. It goes like that. And it's all sterling silver. And I just fell in love with the coral. The color of it is just so beautiful. And I know you can't mine coral anymore. Um, it's just so beautiful. And I absolutely adore it. So yeah, I bought it. And, um, and then I went to another thrift shop that same day and came across these uh, silver earrings, which was just like, wow, meant to be. So let me just show you the earrings. Aren't they gorgeous? Coral, silver, totally beautiful. So they are a little family together in the red love heart box. I should leave them together, shouldn't I? I kind of like to keep things separate though because I don't like things to, you know, contaminate each other in case there's, um, oh, and I'll put that underneath, in case there's, you know, it ruins a piece. So yeah, beautiful.
beautiful. Let's bring this gross back over here because it's a little bit too beautiful to have sitting at the back. Okay, we don't have much time left, so let's have a quick look. That's 35 minutes. This is an amber um, necklace with a sterling silver clasp, and the amber is beautiful. And now, if you shine a UV light on amber, it should turn green. Can you see how they're green? They're beautiful amber. So don't turn green and they stay this color then they're not they're probably plastic so yeah this is um, amber an amber necklace um, it, you can feel amber it's got a feeling it's very light and it has a kind of um, it has like a sort of a sticky feeling but it's not there's not stickiness but it feels sticky sort of yeah it's um, you know it once you felt amber you know about it and it's just stunning look at the beads knotted in between this is a vintage piece so yeah I'll just hang on to that little beauty amber um, what else have I got here this is another oldie now, I've got to be careful because one of the one of the beads has come out and I've it's in the bag so I don't want it to come out so look at this one it's a bit more like um, a bit gnarly really in comparison to some of the others I've shown you and it's brassy color lots of beautiful filigree it's not named um, with a that's cold to the touch so I'm not sure if that's I haven't tested that to be honest um, yeah so I should probably do that one day and just see what it is but yeah isn't that beautiful it's so beautiful Okay, so that's that one. And what else have I got that I can show you? Oh, this is a little tiny, cutest ever, mini mosaic brooch. I'm not sure when it was made, but it's super duper. Oops, let's try and get a nice clear shot of it. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the flowers. How on earth do they do that? I would go, I would just go blind trying to see a really old, um, made in Italy, sea clasp, brass. Okay, very special. I feel so lucky to have all these pieces of beautifulness. Two pieces left. This one is a stunner. This one is, I bought this when I was in Thailand. Um, so I believe it's Thai silver and I we have, it's all natural stones. And I love this bit the most. These are turquoise. And I just love how they feel. They're just, I just love them. And it's got this, um, these beautiful beads with the crushed coral and uh, turquoise in them. And then all these, and I bought this about mm, 30 years ago. Isn't that beautiful? stunning I love it so much I don't really wear it much anymore and I don't know if I'll sell it because I just I'm attached to that one but yeah and this is my last piece this is um, not sure if you've seen these um, yeah it's got the Nepalese kind of look going on with the Turkish beads and the coral and the silver uh, I don't wear it but I bought it because I just love turquoise and um, coral uh, two of my favorite combinations this is the back yeah isn't it gorgeous okay so that's um oh and this is a swarovski swan that was in a bag and i just i thought that's a super cute and it's got Jan janus janus on the back which uh i believe is the designer of this one so he's beautiful i just love to see it's just sparkly i just fell in love with the sparkle okay so that's it i hope you loved it i had such a lovely time showing you um my treasures there's heaps more um that i've got and found along the way and uh yeah slowly by slowly we will um get through everything and i'll show you but uh yeah at the moment everything's for sale but not this lot yet because i just I want to keep it and this is just a little box 
that I bought when I was in Tasmania and it's, um, it's made of sassafras and hue and pine. It's just a little salt thingo. And um, I just love the smell of it. The smell is just, you put your nose in there and smell and it's so divine. I love it. So it just stays in here because it's, it's special. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Um, I would be so blessed and honored if you would. Yeah, I really um, hope to grow my channel and keep making more of these movies. If there's anything you want to say, please leave comments. I'll try and answer everyone's comments. And I look forward to hearing any opinions you have or uh, any advice you have on these pieces that I've shown you today. But until the next video, have a beautiful weekend. Today is Sunday for me. And I will, um, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. Thanks.